Hello everyone, welcome back. Next, we will see measuring object in module 3 in lesson 2. So, this will be the continuation to the previous video. So, a measure dash object is the command that we'll be using to measure the object. So, uh, this command would accept a collection of object and counts them. Meaning, let's say, for example, if we wanted to count the number of files in a folder, then we could use the measure dash object command. So, that would count the number of files in that folder and the small size and the large size all those uh, details so for that we can use dash property parameter to specify a single numeric property and followed by we can you know add a dash average for calculating an average and dash minimum to display the smallest size and dash maximum to you know get the largest size and dash sum to display the sum so the output is a measurement of object not whatever we piped in so by default this uh, measure object command counts the number of object in the collection and produce the measurement object that includes the count so we can use measure as an alias instead of measure dash object so uh, this measure dash object will accept the dash property parameter and that allows to specify a single property which must contain numeric value and then we can include the sum average minimum and maximum parameter so for example in this command so we have to specify the property of the numeric value length and followed by sum average minimum and maximum so we can use a min instead of minimum and a max instead of the full name maximum so let me run that uh, command get child item so i'll be counting the file and using the uh, measure property length so then I'll be specifying some average we can also use AVE as in short form and uh, minimum maximum so if I go into this location users slash administrator dot editor here I have uh, three files in this folder and uh, if you look at the output so it count the number of files in the current folder and uh, the minimum size the maximum size of that file and property that we use length and average and sum so next we'll see selecting a subset of object so there will be a two uses for select dash object first we'll see the first one so use uh, the select dash object parameter to select a specified number of rows from the beginning or end of the piped in collection so when we run the partial command 
if you wanted to you know um, get only the first rows from the beginning or if you want to get the output of the end of that uh, output then we could use this select dash object command so we can you know specify the uh, first parameter for the beginning and last for the end and we can also use the skip to skip any uh, number of rows before the selection and if there is any duplicate values we can use the unique option so that it would uh, ignore the duplicated rows but we cannot specify any criteria for choosing specific rows so when we run the powershell command it would display all the uh, values of that command but uh, sometimes if you wanted to you know display any specific uh, object of that command then uh, we could use this select dash object uh, sometimes for example uh, the get event log command so there is a built-in option newest so with that option we can just get the latest entries but not all the commands will have that built-in ability to you know get the output like what we want so in that case we can use the select dash object command so that we can get the output that we want so um, select is the alias for the select dash object so we can use select instead of uh, select dash object in the piping command So we can use select dash object command to select a subset of object that are passed to the uh, pipeline. Selecting a subset means selecting just certain rows. So uh, we can tell to you know start from the beginning or end of the collection what we you know want the output. So we can also tell to skip certain number of rows before we select begins. So now let's see some examples. Get process sort with the property VM, which is virtual memory size and select first 10 so what it does is uh, so it would select the first 10 process based on the uh, least amount of virtual memory use okay so next we'll see another example get service sort property name select last gen So to select the last 10 running services and uh, sort them using the name, we can use this command. So the next example, get process, sort property CPU and select Justify and skip one. So this would uh, select a five process using the least amount of CPU, but it skip the one process using the least CPU. So next, selecting unique object.
so in select dash object in that output if there is any duplicate names and values so we can use dash unique parameter and that would uh, you know only uh, display one of the duplicated objects so it would just uh, display the unique value okay and we can uh, just use uh, this example for that and uh, the second use of select dash object so in this uh, use case we can use the uh, dash property parameter to specify comma separated list of properties and that also include a wildcard so it does accept the wildcard uh, options to this para uh, property parameter and we can also combine with the first last and skip to select any subset of rows So uh, as we have seen previously, in addition to select, you know, first or last number of rows from the collection, we can also use the uh, select dash object command to specify uh, properties to display. So we can just uh, use the um, properties that we wanted to display using the select command so here uh, the dash property parameter and then followed by the comma separated list of property value that we wanted to display so if you think of a collection of object as a table we can just choose uh, the column what we wanted to display so there we can specify which column from the output we want to get it so after you choose the property we want uh, we can you know use the select dash object to remove all the other properties so it will just remove the other properties and will display only the property that we have mentioned so we can see this example here get dash process select mentioning the property by comma separated list name id vm vm cpu and format table okay so um this would display in a table format with the process ID and virtual memory size, page memory size, and the CPU usage. So, next we'll see another example get process sort property CPU. select select property name cpu so i'm just uh, getting the first 10 okay so here um, the property parameter works with the first or last parameter and uh, it returns the name CPU usage for the 10 processes okay so that's it in this video and I'll see you in the next